I know that when I start procrastinating, that's when I am mentally checked out. So I got all my pretty, pretty aesthetic photos. I'm going through an identity crisis. <laughs> I just finished my cold shower. I did like 30 seconds today. I could have done more, but I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I've just recently started getting into drinking coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker like at all. I only take pre-workout as my source of caffeine. But like I'm gonna be honest, this is fake coffee because it's like 3% coffee extract. I like to say this is fake coffee because there really isn't much coffee in it. It's got like 16 milligrams. I feel fancy. Like I just feel, I feel very posh when I'm drinking from a wine glass. I literally, if I wanted to, I could probably drink water from a wine glass. I could drink everything in a wine glass, but I don't know. I think there's something about like iced coffee in a wine glass that just kind of does it for me. I'm not gonna lie. That, like, yeah. So I did go to, it's ugly. I went to Office Works yesterday and Kmart to drop, to drop, I'm not dropping, I wasn't dropping anything. <laughs> I feel I actually yesterday I went to Office Works and Kmart to pick up some arts and crafts. Look at how satisfying that is. There's a book. Oh, there's a book for business, a book for productivity, budget. <laughs> Need that. Work life study. Mm, no, I love this one. Gratitude's my favorite color. It's in yellow. Look at this one. Beautiful. Oh, that makes my heart so happy. How to talk to absolutely anyone. I need that. I need this skill. I low-key want to get this, but it's so big. Like, that's my foot. I have no way to put it, though. But I really want one. Yeah, I did end up getting that book that I picked up yesterday. Because I found something else. Something better, actually. It was more expensive. This was more expensive. This was $11. For a, for a book. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it just... It called. It called to me and I couldn't say no. I don't know why I bought this, but it's fine. I liked the fact that the inside was black. You see that? The inside is black. I'm going to be printing photos every month and scrapbooking. Happy moments, you know, the good moments. And also just maybe like even um, print some quotes that resonated with me like within that specific month i'm just gonna make it all pretty and nice and i'm gonna make my inner child happy because i used to love scrapbooking when i was younger so i feel like this is gonna be a really good activity for me to do every month at the end of every month and i'm so excited but what i'm gonna do is also put in my overall vision board if that makes sense so like i have printed all of the photos that i have a well, majority of the photos that I have on my desktop vision board here. I'm going to be able to look at it every month and just like look at my vision board and also look at what has happened for the month and just like, I don't know, it's going to be fun and exciting little projects for me. I'm so excited. Yeah. And this isn't a part of it. I got it from Amazon. It's the LED. Actually, let's open it together. It's the LED light that my friend influenced me to get I was influenced oh yeah here she is oh 
Oh yeah. So like when you take selfies, oh the lighting is bad like that. I wonder if it looks good though. I want to light up a candle to make it all cute. So I got all my pretty, pretty aesthetic photos that I'm going to paste on the first page. I hope they fit. My hopes. Like, I feel like I'm a very like visual person. So I have to see things in order for me to be inspired and take action, if that makes sense. I can't just like write it down. I know everyone is different, but I really like to see pretty pictures. So I associate those visuals with wanting to take action if that makes sense it's like girl boss yeah i am i'm a girl boss i'm gonna continue this another day i need to print more photos <laughs> i obviously didn't plan this through Yay! So I actually did finish my vision board. I ended up doing it the next day. I'm seriously so proud of how it turned out. Like, guys, look at that. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And it's got pretty much most of the things that I want to really focus on in 2023. A lot of boss bitch energy. It's because we're hustling this year, guys. We're really hustling. And I'm so freaking ready. I'm no, kind of like in and out with doing some work today. I'm a bit scattered, but it's okay. Uh, I'm still going to try to get my to-do list done. I've done actually half of it. Uh, I was expecting to be done at 12 p.m. And it's currently 2 o'clock right now because I've just been very all over the place with my time today. But it's okay. I'm not going to be hard on myself. And I'm just going to try to smash through some of my work now so that I can clock off by like 3.30. Today, I just feel like I'm not in the right mindset to do work, but I'm still gonna get a bit done or get what I need to get done and try again tomorrow. Yeah, I just feel like I don't wanna force myself because when I come from a place of I have to do it, then I procrastinate and I take even longer to get what I need to get done and when I can get it done in let's say an hour I end up getting it done in like three to four hours which is so bad it's a bad habit that I'm trying to get rid of procrastination so it's just I feel like I know that when I start procrastinating that's when I am mentally checked out so when I do get to that point I need to stop what I'm doing and just let myself procrastinate and just let myself I don't know watch a YouTube video so that I don't feel guilty about it because there's no point feeling guilty about it when it's already done or it's already happening um yeah I just need to treat myself more kindly I think it's all a learning process <laughs> it is a learning process la, la, la. oh that's not totally I am feeling very like I need to get new indoor slides. Like, these are pretty disgusting. I'm not going to lie. Look at how scruffy it is. Yeah, um, that's what I have to deal with. And it's literally like, <laughs> it's falling off. If anyone would like to buy me some new ones for my birthday, feel free. <laughs> kidding. Anyways, I was kind of just thinking. And reflecting I feel like I've been reflecting quite a lot lately because I've allowed myself to be in my thoughts again and it sounds a bit weird but I'm just saying like I feel like I've been so busy that I haven't really given myself time to think and be in my own thoughts so yeah I've allowed myself time to just reflect on life and I've come to a conclusion that I am going through an identity crisis <laughs> Uh, okay, I want to say like a full-on crisis like no, it's not a crisis. Sorry. I'm just like all over the place right now I feel like I'm probably in my head about it. Maybe it's <laughs> I was gonna say it's the caffeine <laughs> I don't think it's that it's literally 16% 
milligrams, 16%. It's only 60 milligrams worth of caffeine. And the pre-workout that I consume is like 200 milligrams. So I don't think it's a caffeine. But yeah, I feel like I've gone through a character development. Not a crisis. It's not a crisis. It's a character, character development. I feel like I'm just so proud of the person that I am becoming. It is honestly because of the people that I've surrounded myself with and the environment that I'm in. My dance KM family. <laughs> they have really like lured out my more confident self. Confident in the way that I'm more confident in who I am. I'm more confident in my body. I'm more confident with how I express myself, you know, through movement, but as well as like my personality. I feel like I'm more like myself. I just feel like myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I'm feeling more and more like me, more than I ever have. I feel like I've suppressed parts of myself so that I can be the person for the people that I had or have in my life. So I haven't been really showing up as authentically and as true to me, to the people that I have had, have and had. It's so important to surround yourself with high value people in your life. I like to surround myself with people that are like-minded to me, that are, you know, high vibe, positive because that's just the type of person I am so obviously I want to surround myself with people that are obviously on a similar wavelength or have similar mindsets it just it just makes life easier to be honest